Hey friend, how are you today? I hope you're having a great day so far. Today I have a review, unboxing and review, on a watch that I received. When I opened the box, I was very impressed because it is so pretty and well made. This is from the brand called Filippo Loretti. So this is how it came, of course, in packaging, but this is the outer box. Libel already has men's styles and women's styles. So there are women's watches and also jewelry, and the jewelry is really, really pretty. But their watches are, I would say, mid-priced and I actually have a coupon code for you. They reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review one of their products. And I didn't immediately say yes. I looked at the site and when I saw everything that they had available and the reviews, they have awesome reviews on all of their stuff, really. I think on this one watch alone, there are almost 600 rev reviews and almost a five star. So that's pretty good. I always look at reviews before I purchase something. I think it's really important to see what other people are saying. So I don't bring to my channel something that I don't think is a good deal for you or that's a good product period. So I'm very excited to have this watch to show you. When you open the box, so here is the little care booklet. So a nice care booklet. The instructions are here. And then there's also a little cleaning cloth. And when you open it, it's um, inside of this little just plain plain box there and it's a very very nice box I mean that's a that's a nice box and it opens look at this watch how beautiful is this watch so this one is called the Emmeline Emmeline or Emmeline watch and it's from their Muse collection. So they have several watches within this Muse collection. The name of this watch, Emmeline, was inspired from Emmeline Pankhurst, who was a leader in the suffrage movement. I'm gonna take it out and show you a little bit um, about the watch. And just so you know, it comes on the little, the pillow, I guess is what it's called. I guess it's called a pillow. So it comes like that and it's one of the little clasp open closure like that. So very nice. The outside is, as you can see, it's a silver tone. This is stainless steel. So for me, stainless steel makes the most sense because it doesn't get tarnished. It's not going to turn a color. I really like stainless steel when it comes to a watch. The glass on the outside is a hardened glass. The movement on here is the, it's a Japanese movement. It's called the Miyota 2025 movement. So that's just, you know, how the, the watch moves, basically the mechanism within it. This is water resistant up to 30 meters, so that's good. On the side it says that it's best fit for 14 to 17 centimeter wrists. Okay, so I looked that up in inches because I don't know centimeters. And it says like it's like five something to almost seven. And I would think that it would go just a little bit above seven. I have about a six, six and a half inch wrist, I think. And I got a couple links removed from the bracelet part of the watch. So I think it can probably go up a little more than that. But just so you know, it does say 14 to 17 inches. Uh, excuse me, centimeters. You can see the muse on the back there. I think that's really pretty. It's like a brushed, that stainless steel. So as you can see, it's a square face, which I really like. I love the blue. Blue is, I think blue is probably my favorite color. And I just love, love that blue. The diameter is 28 by 30 centimeters. So it's not quite square. Maybe this one is a little bit longer. And of course it has the little, I don't even know what you call that there, but to set, to set the watch. So let me go ahead and put it on for you. Here it is. I think it's just a very timeless, looking watch and that's what I always go for when I purchase really anything. I'm not one who tends to get super trendy pieces. I really want a timeless piece in whatever it is because I want to keep it. I want to keep it for a long time and I think that's important especially when it comes to a timepiece. You know you want 
your watch to last a long time. I'll put it up closer for you. has the little marks for the hour. This one does not have a second hand, which doesn't really matter to me. If I need seconds, I'll use my phone. Now, if you do like something that has more interest, <laughs> I guess, there are ones on their website. They have several watches that are really pretty. They have some round ones that have on um, where the blue would be, so on the background there, it's like flowers. And those are really pretty. You know, I think that would really dress up an outfit if you wanted to have one little pop of something. They do have ones that are leather straps, so not just the bracelet straps. There are some even with marble faces. Those marble faces are really pretty. But as far as in this collection, um, they have this one, and then there's one that is rose gold, so it has some rose gold in it with kind of like a marble background. So the like this middle part here is rose gold, and then um, the outer part is silver with kind of a marble rose gold background and then they have one that's just plain silver so everything about it is silver so there's nothing no color or anything like that on the face of the watch they have a lot of watches so some that do have bells and whistles if you want to call them that the second hand and the day and all of those things if you like that or like the look of that then that will be perfect perfect for you the size of it is a little bigger so rather it being a small like small one like this it's um, there are round ones and they're a tad bit bigger now they don't just have watches like I said earlier they have jewelry and when they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review something they said that I could pick one or the other so that was a hard decision because their jewelry is really really pretty very much on trend but not too trendy. I'm thinking about using my own coupon code <laughs> and going back and getting one of their bracelets that I really, really like. Um, I'll try to put a picture here or try to scroll here if I can figure out how to do that. But they have necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and they have silver and gold. So with the silver jewelry, I think it's really cool because it's actually made in 925 sterling silver, but it's dipped in rhodium, okay? So it's dipped in rhodium for extra shine and strength. When you have silver jewelry, it does tarnish, right? It tarnishes over time, but it's a great metal. You still have the 925 silver, but it's dipped, so you're not gonna have to worry about it tarnishing. And the gold is actually still made with the silver, so it's 925 silver, but it has gold vermeil on the outside. So it's a thick 14 karat gold layer on the outside. So you're getting silver and then gold on the outside. I just quickly want to show you that um, I had the two little links removed. And you know, I could probably take out another link it would fit right up against my wrist but i think i like it like this if you purchase a watch and go to get the links taken out it cost me ten dollars so with tax it was ten dollars and 83 cents and that was just at a jewelry store a jewelry store in your area may just do it for free sometimes they'll do it for free it wasn't a big deal for me to go get it done it took maybe 10 minutes I just want to tell you a little bit about the company. I think it's pretty cool because they started back in 2015 and it started as a crowdfunding campaign. That's how they got their start. How cool is that? I'm looking on their site here and it says more than 30,000 people backed their ambitious vision by contributing over $10 million to make it a reality. So when you have that many people that are behind your brand, I think that's pretty cool. Even though they have really beautiful designs, they cut the cost because they design in-house, so they're not paying that extra, and they build relationships with different manufacturers. So there's really not like a go-between. So that's why the prices are a little bit lower. You can get a watch for one to 150, depending if you have a coupon or whatever, which I do, I'll put it right here. I'm also going to put it below for you. And you just have to spend at least $60 for that 15% uh, to come off. One other thing that it's important to note about uh, their watches is that they run for a limited time. So I don't think they have all of their watches that just stay forever. Okay. So if you find one you want, you need to grab it. And it usually will say on their, you know, 15 left or five left like I've seen that on several of their watches so if there's one that you go on there and you you really like 
you might want to grab it whether it's a watch or a piece of jewelry you might want to grab it because it may not be in stock and they may not bring it back with my coupon code i just want to make sure you know i don't get any money for that so that's solely for you um, they sent me the watch for review but i don't get money or any type of commission from you and lastly they have free shipping so over sixty dollars is free shipping I'm all about free shipping. I hate paying for shipping. So over $60 is free, so that's awesome. So I hope you liked this review of the Filippo Loretti watch, and I hope you will go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you soon.